A simple 10-word email that can get you clients in the next 24 hours. Hi, I'm James Roche and that's the topic of today's video. This is such a beautifully elegant marketing strategy that you can use as soon as this video is over and I think you'll be very surprised at the kind of uh, response and results that you can get from this very elegant marketing strategy. So the reason why this works is you're sending a 10 word email out and it's like a spark. It initiates a dialogue with actual dialogue, actually connecting with people one-on-one, -on -one, which then moves them into having a conversation with you so you, they can eventually hire you as, as a client. This whole strategy is very simple and can happen very quickly, and there are three steps to the whole process. So let's break it down and I'll show you exactly how to do this. So step one is you send this 10-word email. Now, here's what the email says. And this is so, so elegantly simple, you'll be shocked. In the subject line, not in the body of the email, in the subject line, you simply say, hey, are you still interested in blank? Now, what that blank is, that's the outcome that you, you deliver in your, your service or your product. In other words, let's say you're a weight loss coach. Hey, are you still interested in losing 10 pounds? If you're a bookkeeper, hey, are you still interested in saving on your taxes? Uh, if you're a business coach, hey, are you still interested in getting more clients? That blank for you, you got to think about what it is in your business, but it's the outcome that, that you help people achieve in your business or your service. So that's the subject line of this email. In the body of the email, keep it really, really simple. You're basically saying, reply and let me know. And then your signature. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's it. Ten words or so. <laughs> Hey, are you still interested in blank? That's the subject line. The body of the email is reply and let me know. Now, obviously, you know, your situation might be a little different, but I'm giving you the spirit of what to say in this email. Uh, what it is literally you're going to say, you have to adjust to the context of your situation. If you're in corporate or you're dealing with lawyers or something, maybe you use a little more different language. But the idea is keep it so simple and direct because all you're doing is you're just casting a line out and you're sending this out to certain people and you're going to see who bites, who responds. Whoever's going to respond to this is interested in blank, the outcome that you help do in your business, right? Now let's talk about who exactly you're sending this to because again, you're not just randomly sending this. You're not just going to do this as a blast to your email list, for example. There has to be some context for you to send this kind of an email, right? Now, actually, you don't even need a list in order to do this very effectively and powerfully. So think about this for a moment. Let's say, for example, you have met certain people in networking events, in events you've attended, uh, industry functions, whatever it is. You met certain people that when you connected with them, you thought, you know what, that, they might be a good client for me. But it, it kind of never developed into anything. But you did have an initial connection with them. Send them this email right now. Or let's say, for example, uh, it, it was somebody you did talk to and you had an enrollment conversation, a sales call, but it never, it never panned out to them hiring you yet. Maybe the timing wasn't right for them. Well, maybe the timing is right now for them. This is the perfect kind of an email that you can cast out to those kind of people and see, hey, are they still interested in losing that 10 pounds, in, in improving their marriage? Whatever it is, this will help you filter, cipher who is interested still in those connections, those personal connections that you've made in the past. Now, here's a way you can use this online as an autoresponder. So let's say, for example, on your website, you have some sort of a free offer, uh, a special report, an audio, or you can use this when you give a teleseminar or a webinar. After the natural sequence of that, that sequence you give, let's say they get a, a special report, they download it, maybe you have a couple follow-up emails. After a few days break from that, send this email. Or for example, let's say they attended a webinar and you, you're gonna have a natural email sequence that happens afterward. Give it a break for a few days, maybe a week, then send this email. What's gonna happen though, just as a warning, is <laughs> you're now sending this out to a broadcast to more people and they will respond. They're gonna respond with a personal email back to you and it initiates this dialogue. So this is especially effective if you're looking to, for example, get one-on-one -on -one clients. 
and you're going to be dialoguing and actually talking to these people. So that's step one, is simply send this email out and think about who you're sending it to. Now, what's going to happen is naturally you're going to go to step two, which is initiate an email dialogue with the people. So the people who do respond to you from that initial 10 word email, they're the ones interested, like I said. So that initiates a back and forth email conversation. So for example, they might come back and say, well, yes, I am interested. And that's pretty much it. That might be what all that they say. Then you reply back to them something along the line of, oh, tell me more about that. Or what have you tried up to now to get blank outcome? Um, in other words, you're, you're just starting a back and forth email dialogue as a friendly conversation. Don't, you're not trying to push anything. You're not trying to sell anything. You, you have to come from the energy and the space of being genuinely curious about, oh, they are still interested in this outcome, which you know a lot about. I, I'm curious, you know, tell me more about what you've tried to get this outcome. Or, you know, tell me more about what you're working towards or why is that important to you? Again, you have to dance with this part of it. This is where the art of it comes in and do what feels and, and it feels natural to you and comes naturally to you. But basically you're going to have maybe a few email back and forths with this person. And then at some point you're going to say this one statement in this dialogue that'll move it into step three of this process. And that statement is, you know, I have a lot of ideas and resources that might really help you. We should get on the phone and talk about this. When would be a good time for us to talk? And that's it. Basically, that's going to close out step two. And you're basically saying it, you know, and at this point, you've also confirmed that they are interested. They have been trying or here's the reason why it's important to them. And there is an expressed desire that they have for this outcome. And they are indeed an ideal client for you. Now you want to get on the phone with them and have an enrollment conversation or a sales call. And that's the function at the end of step two. You say, hey, you know, I have some ideas and resources that might really help you. We should get on the phone and, and talk about this, right? Now we move on to, to step three. And that is have that enrollment conversation, which is the classic sales call that you would normally do in your business to, to close a client, to connect with a client, find out what's important to them. Why are, there, why are they motivated to have this outcome? How can you help them? And very naturally, very conversationally, bring them to the awareness that you can help them get that outcome. And then you close the sale. You make that sale and they hire you. That's the whole three-step process. Again, so elegant, so simple, right? The, the, the 10 word email is the spark, the casting of the line and the people, only the people who are really interested are the ones who will really respond to you. And they're basically stepping towards you. They're raising their hand and saying, I am interested in that topic. I do struggle with this. I would like to have resolution on this challenge that I have. Let's then you initiate this dialogue. Then you get on the phone with them and then they become your client. So I highly encourage you to cast that email out to the appropriate people in your, your life and the, the connections you've made in the past right now and just watch what happens. You'll be amazed at how elegant, how simple this process is because here's the principle that guides this. It's about personal connection. You're using an online tool via email to initiate a personal contact, a conversation with those people who are expressing an interest in the outcome that you have helped them achieve. That's the beauty of this strategy and that's the beauty of good marketing. That's it. I encourage you to use it. Make your comments below. I'm curious if you have any questions or comments that you'd like to say about this or try this technique, share the results of what happens for you uh, below on the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Okay. This is James Roche signing off. Thank you.